It's a blustery day here out on Koh Samui, but that's not going to stop us. We're going to head all over this wonderful island, and you're coming along for the ride. We're going to meet some special friends, and if you subscribe to the channel, you might already know who they are. And by the end of the video, I'm going to be standing right here with an ice-cold Leo in one hand and Samui's best barbecue in the other. Are you ready? Let's go! Hello out there world, my name's Chris and I'm retired working for you and I'm already looking forward to being back here with that Leo and that barbecue. But to get there, we have to run around Samui, visit some people, do some things. You're gonna meet some of my best friends here and we're gonna pick up some barbecue. That's gonna be a special story. There's a couple other surprises along the way. Let's jump in the truck and get rolling. So the first stop here is going to be in the, the little beach town of Bangrak as we pull up on this, this lady riding her scooter. This is about 10 minutes from where we started and this is one of those towns here that uh, has really maintained its charm throughout this whole pandemic. Uh, there's a night market over on this side, the local market over here. You can see it's busy. It's a super local beach town. If you're coming to Samui or if you're on Samui, this is a place that uh, is worth hanging out. It's unlike Chuang, which needs thousands and thousands of tourists to feel comfortably busy. This place has always felt pretty good. So. We're just going to go to the other end of it and um, that's where our first stop's going to be and we're going to meet someone super special there. Hello Panda Man. So here in the heart of Bangrak and one of my favorite things about this channel is seeing things progress, that, that forward progress I love. Like Say's coffee shop over in Phuket. Who didn't love seeing him start in the front of his house and then end off with this cool little shop? And here's a story that I hope's gonna progress. We're about to meet someone special. I can see him right here. And it's Kunit, the Hello. artist. How's it going, Kunit? So what do you have? Yes, so what do you have? I have something for you. Really? Yes. What's this? Oh, you showed me this. Yes. Oh, this is, oh my God, look for at this. For happy birthday, you? Oh, for my birthday? Yeah. Oh, check this out. Crush Inc. Yeah. Crush Inc. is his business. Yes. And uh, this shop, you're thinking about renting? Yes, I think so. Really? Think, yeah. To do what? What would you do inside? Uh, I, I want to make a tattoo shop and gallery, maybe a coffee inside. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, so he might uh, open up his own little shop. He's an amazing artist. If you saw the, the previous merch drop, it was came from his brain and his hands, and he does tattoos as well. So he's thinking of renting this shop. Let, can we see? Okay. Yeah, let's check it out. Up there, I think a tech make a tattoo. Like what would it be, big chair here? Yes, big chair, like this tattoo for the look. Oh, take yeah. a look down, yeah. it's like big loft style yes. room. This wall, make a painting, painting, painting All for sale. Paintings. Yes, original painting. And here, maybe have the coffee. And behind here is the beach, right? Yes. Yeah, right behind here is Bangrak Beach, so you could come in here, have a little coffee, maybe get a little z -z tattoo done, or, or buy some artwork, or just enjoy like a little local experience with Samui's finest artist. Yeah. Well, I got something I want to talk to you about. Let's go back outside. This one is pretty cool. <laughs> so yeah, here's the deal, man. We got, we're gonna do, every month we have members called the Board of Directors, mm -hmm. and we do a giveaway, like a special prize for yeah. them, and this month, this this is an announcement for the board of directors. We want to commission you yes. to do a custom art piece. Yes. And we want the winner to pick their favorite spot in Thailand. Maybe it's Bangkok, maybe it's Samui, maybe it's Chiang Mai, wherever the winner's favorite spot is, they can tell us mm -hmm. and they can give a few pictures. Yes. And then you do some nice, beautiful artwork okay. for them. We can do 100%. Awesome. Okay. okay. Awesome. So this month's board of directors giveaway. If you don't know what the board of directors is, go click. I'll leave a link. I'll, I'll leave a link. You can check it out. It's a great group of people worldwide, and it's growing. And every month we do a giveaway just for the board. And this month we're going to support Kunit. We're going to commission a painting. He's going to do something awesome. Yeah. All his stuff is so cool. And then when you open this shop, 
can I, I'm gonna come back and make yeah. a video and show everyone. Okay. Yeah? Yes. Awesome, man. Good luck to you. Good luck. Yeah, cheers. cheers. All right. I, I feel so good seeing the gestation, the, the, the start of, uh, of a new business brewing for a, a, a really good, good local Thai person here on Samui, who's almost a partner of retired working for you. That was pretty cool. I hope he makes it happen. I'll keep you guys updated. Let's keep this show rolling. We're back here at our favorite, uh, our favorite cowman guy shop with the chef himself here. And he just told me something really cool. You said many followers have come to your shop? Yeah, many foreigners many foreign come to my shop, many nations from YouTube, from this YouTube. Oh, really? Oh, that's awesome. We've, we've done videos here before because this is one of my favorite local shops here. Yeah. Second generation whips up the best cowman guy Thank on the you. island. Thank you. So we're just entering Boput, Fisherman's Village here, a street that's probably very familiar with many of you. Just thought on our way to the next location, which is up in the mountains above Maynam, we'd show you what it looks like here these days. It's uh, pretty quiet. A lot of places here still closed. The sandbox hasn't had a super big impact on Samui. I think it's been a bigger impact over in Phuket but people here are talking about a wave that's coming. Really, I think January, February, March, I think will be really when this place, there's probably gonna be more people than businesses for a little spell. Um, that'll be an interesting time. I'll definitely come back and show you streets exactly like this as they reopen. We're coming up here to Coco Tams. A couple of uh, Thai tourists here. Oh, and here we are at the world famous Coco Tams. This is a site I haven't seen in a while. It appears to be closed, or are they just shut for the weather? They've just got the things pulled down. Oh, this part of it's open down here. Some people enjoying, but this, this place is definitely uh, a Samui institution. And this brings us to the end of Boput. Let's zip ahead to the mountains of Mainam. <laughs> yeah. We started the video way over there at Moonstone. You can see Koh Phangan off in the distance over there. But where we are is at Santaburi Golf Course. And we're here to set something special up. The next episode of Golf with Bung. And here's Bung himself. Yeah. Say hi, Bung. Hello. Yes, so tell them what to expect. What are we going to do here? Yeah, we have this in VP2 for Golf with Bung. How we play another. In Satibuli. And we're going to show them from the drone here mm -hmm. this beautiful course. We just came out here to set it all up. It looks like it's going to be a great day. Yeah. And this is your home course. Yeah, that is what my score is not my home. You score, but I'm expecting big things out of you, Bang. We're going to come and shoot this in a few days. Video will be out probably near the end of October. But it's really exciting, man. We're going to, we're going to crank it up. We got to go meet Nigel, man. Good to see okay. you. I yep. look forward to losing money to you, man. He always takes my money. Well, I haven't had a Budweiser in ages. So this uh, place here, we're right in the heart of Natan. I've been here before. You've seen this before. It's called Sunset. It's a restaurant right at the corner of Natan. Ferries over there. This place is still closed due to COVID. 
but it's definitely a Samui institution and well worth coming to enjoy a meal here during a sunset, obviously. Remember, we've been out here before and at low tide, you can walk out there like so far. I've never seen the water in quite so high, but nice little part of Samui right on the corner of uh, Natan here. And where we're going next, it's just up over those hills. We're just here to enjoy a quick Budweiser, the king of beers. I'm sorry, Leo. So this is a really special spot. Maybe the highlight, this is where the barbecue is gonna come from. This is Nigel's house. I've brought you guys here before. It's the Samui Disc Golf Course. And it's also Nigel's house. And what's happening today for the first time in a really long time is Nigel's fired up his barbecue. And uh, he does some delectable barbecue, but he's had to shut it down. Today he's fired it up and so we put in an order. This is where the barbecue is gonna come from. Here's Chef Nigel. Hello, hey guys. Look at, what do you got behind us here? Oh, we've got a few chickens in here. Let me show you. Oh my God, look at this. Yeah, there you go. Wow. So beer can chicken. First time in how long? Uh, we haven't done a barbecue here since like April. It was so after, we, right before the craziness, so. Oh, really? Yeah. Since April? Yeah, So yeah. you're almost six months without barbecue. That's the longest I've gone without barbecuing Look for people. Look at this, so. show us around the smoker here. What is this? Oh, these are uh, little bites from the top of the brisket. Oh, they're salty goodness. Should I try one? You should try one, they're All salty. All right, let's try one of these here. They're salty. Oh my God! <laughs> Might be a little oh, hot. Oh, holy crap! Oh, what is that? This is a pulled pork. It's been uh, cooking all day, and then I shred it apart, keeping its juices, and I keep cooking it so the more smoke gets all around it. Wow. And, and so that's really good too. So does it feel good to have this thing fired back up? Oh man, you know, it's hard to fire this up for like, you know, two chicken breasts, you know? Yeah. Like you gotta cook, <laughs> you know? Like you, you, gotta, you gotta cook for 50 people, you know? Like you gotta, and so it's happy, I'm happy to be cooking for people. So we've got <laughs> uh, a big order from Nigel. Well, it's enough for about a dozen people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's only cost us less than 3,000 baht. If you're yeah. ever on Samui and you get a chance or for those of you that live on Samui, this is more of a locals uh, treat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, these are the special prices and people are gonna come here. My family, we don't have, we're done by four o'clock, so it's easy for my family. And if you're on the island, definitely, uh, definitely look, for, look us up next week. Look, or, Nigel, we're gonna try to do it every two weeks, I think. Can I leave a link? Yeah, sure. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. And then they can order your barbecue here. Yeah. Yeah. If you if you order three thousand baht worth, I'll do it for the day and bring it to you. Is this now officially back in business? You figure? Well, for pickup, I'm not going to be doing drinks or anything here, obviously. But yeah, I'll be doing more barbecue. I don't know how many events I'll do, but having people come here and bringing it. Nice. But I'm not cooking on site at all. And, and so. this is right at your house. Yeah, and the golf course and stuff. And hopefully, we'll open the golf course here maybe in a week or two when the alcohol rules relax on the island. What I've been noticing as I've been running around Phuket and Samui is all the talk has shifted to what's opening as opposed to what's closed. Yeah. And yeah, I yeah, see yeah. a lot of smiles like this on people's the, faces. The hope, the hope. The hope is back. <laughs> the hope is back. So there you go. If you're on Samui, look up this man for the best barbecue. Look at this setup. Best barbecue in town right in front of his house here. We'll show you what it looks like when the spread gets spread. Maybe one little stop before the barbecue. We're back here at, oh, there he is. Uh, hello. <laughs> How's it going, Whittles? Welcome to Gin Club. Welcome to Gin Club. How, how uh, this place looks different. Yeah, we make some, the area big uh, for... Um, make it more safe? Many. Many VIP. VIPs here at the Gin Club. Yes, it looks wonderful. And if you're wondering why it's called the Gin Club, well, <laughs> there's a few bottles of gin been drank here. Just a few bottles of gin. Oh, he's made it bigger here. This looks great. Oh, he got some barbecue pork.
Thank you, what else? Thank you. Ooh, a little coleslaw. Let's get some potato salad in there. Nice little piece of chicken here. I told you we'd end up with some ribs. Well, here they are. Come on in and show the ribs. Okay, let me just take a bit of a break. I said that the day would end with a Leo and a, and a rib, but look at this. We got a father-son ping pong game going. We have some lovely friends over. I gotta say, these days on Samui, they're like my favorite days on planet Earth, and I couldn't be happier to bring you guys all along for the ride. I really look forward to the day when all of you can get back here can get back down to Samui, can get to wherever your favorite spot in Thailand might be. This happens to be mine. So for me to be able to share it with you all is just incredible. And as promised, we're ending the video right here with a rib and a Leo, Samui's best barbecue. Thanks for coming along for the ride and thanks for just joining me as I tour around this amazing country of Thailand. Much love to you all.